changes. After roasting, you can see. The Graydon's interest in the coffee industry began in 2009 when he brought coffee from his home province of Milan Bay to the city of Haifa in Israel during a study trip. The Israelis liked the coffee, and when he returned to PNG in 2012, he decided to work closely with his community of Daga to bring the produce to Lay and process it with assistance from the Coffee Industry Corporation. Friends begin to get it out, accessing that coffee to taste it out. Continuously doing that, um, I have friends who have got in touch with me also, came over, found out the coffee and took it. The sample was taken to uh, New Zealand. The business then grew in the family home at Two Mile in Lay. He used small-scale machines to process coffee, package it, and send it to clients around PNG and the world. It started off as Grey Cafe, but the brand was recently changed to Daga Organics because of the involvement of his community in Milan Bay. So my main aim was that I wanted to make it equal to the day benefit and I benefit. And it's not only what I really did, is for benefit of the community, that was my interest. The knowing the importance of uh, service to humanity, that is what I was really focusing on. And equality of uh, wealth. Otherwise, people like we become, owning this, a commodity belongs to the community. While we get it and make revenue out of it, giving them less. It takes three days to walk from Daga to Millen Bay just to have the coffee shipped to Lay and then to Goroka to process. By then, transport fares increase and the coffee beans rot along the way. Graydon and his family are planning to set up in Millen Bay to help the farmers distribute coffee. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.